Today, we're diving deep into the latest research on COVID-19 treatments, focusing on the long-term effects some people experience after recovering from the initial infection, often referred to as long COVID. This video is based on a study titled, Comparative Single Cell Analysis Reveals IFNG as a Driver of Respiratory Sequela After Acute COVID-19, published in Science Translational Medicine. Long COVID affects millions of people worldwide, causing lingering symptoms like difficulty breathing, coughing, and other lung issues long after the initial infection has cleared up. Researchers are working hard to understand why this happens and how we can treat it. One of the key findings from this study is the role of a protein called interferon gamma, or IFNGR. This protein is part of our immune system and helps fight off infections. However, in long COVID patients, IFNGR appears to cause ongoing problems in the lungs. The researchers looked at lung fluid samples from both people and mice. They used a technique called single cell RNA sequencing to see what genes were active in individual cells. This helped them understand what was happening at a very detailed level. They found that in people with long COVID, there are too many of a certain type of immune cell called monocyte-derived alveolar macrophages, or MOAMs. These cells are usually helpful because they fight infections, but in long COVID, they stay active for too long and cause damage to the lungs. They produce substances that lead to inflammation and scarring, making it hard for the lungs to function properly. Another important part of the study is the interaction between these MOAMs and another type of immune cell called T-cells. T-cells help regulate the immune response, but in long COVID, their interaction with MOAMs, driven by the protein IFNG, leads to continuous lung inflammation and damage. To better understand this, let's break it down. Macrophages. These are immune cells that eat up debris and pathogens. They can be pro-inflammatory, causing inflammation, or anti-inflammatory, reducing inflammation. In long COVID, a type called MOAMs, which cause inflammation, are too active. T cells. These are another type of immune cell that help control the immune response. In long COVID, they interact with MOAMs in a way that keeps inflammation going. IFN Gore. This protein usually helps fight infections, but in long COVID, it causes these immune cells to stay active too long, leading to lung damage. The study also used mice to see if they could replicate what happens in humans with long COVID. They infected older mice with a version of the virus and observed similar lung problems to those seen in humans. This helps scientists study long COVID in a controlled environment and test potential treatments. The mice used in the study were older because age is a known risk factor for developing severe COVID-19 and long COVID. The researchers found that these older mice showed significant weight loss, took longer to recover, and had more lung damage compared to younger mice. This mirrors what we see in humans where older adults often have a harder time with COVID-19 and its long-term effects. By performing single-cell RNA sequencing on the lung cells of these mice, the researchers identified similar immune cell changes as seen in human long COVID. There was an increase in MOAMs and T cells and a decrease in tissue-resident alveolar macrophages, or TRANS. The MOAMs in the mice also showed a gene expression profile similar to what was observed in human long COVID samples. These findings highlight the relevance of the mouse model in studying the mechanisms of long COVID and testing potential treatments. One promising finding from this study is that by blocking IFN gamma in mice after the initial infection had cleared, they could reduce lung inflammation and scarring. This suggests that treatments targeting IFN gamma might help people with long COVID. To sum up, this research underscores the importance of IFN gamma in the development of respiratory complications in long COVID. 
targeting IFN gamma could be a promising therapeutic approach to alleviate these long-term effects. This study provides a foundation for future research and potential treatments aimed at mitigating the impacts of long COVID. Now, let's delve into the specifics of what these findings mean for potential treatments and the future of long COVID research. First, the role of IFN gamma in driving inflammation and lung damage in long COVID opens up new avenues for treatment. By targeting this protein, we could potentially reduce the chronic inflammation and scarring that make it difficult for patients to breathe and lead to other long-term health issues. This could be achieved through drugs that specifically inhibit IFN gamma or its signaling pathways. Second, the use of single-cell RNA sequencing in this study highlights the power of this technology in understanding complex diseases. This technique allows researchers to look at individual cells and see how they are behaving in the context of disease. For long COVID, this means being able to pinpoint which cells are causing problems and how they interact with each other. This detailed understanding is crucial for developing targeted therapies. Third, the study's use of a mouse model that closely mimics human long COVID is significant. Animal models are essential for studying diseases and testing treatments in ways that aren't possible in humans. This mouse model will allow researchers to conduct experiments that can shed light on the underlying mechanisms of long COVID and identify potential treatments. Let's also consider the broader implications of this research. Long COVID is not just a medical issue, it has social and economic impacts as well. Many people with long COVID are unable to work or carry out daily activities, which affects their quality of life and places a burden on healthcare systems and economies. Understanding and treating long COVID can help alleviate these burdens and improve the lives of millions of people. The findings from this study also highlight the importance of continued research into COVID-19 and its long-term effects. While vaccines and treatments have been developed to combat the acute phase of the virus, long COVID remains a significant challenge. Ongoing research is crucial to fully understand this condition and develop effective treatments. In addition, this study underscores the importance of a multidisciplinary approach to tackling complex diseases like long COVID. The research involved experts in immunology, virology, and bioinformatics among other fields. This collaborative approach is essential for making progress in understanding and treating long COVID. As we continue to navigate the COVID-19 pandemic, it's important to stay informed about the latest research and developments. Studies like this one provide valuable insights that can lead to new treatments and better outcomes for patients. By staying engaged and informed, we can all play a part in addressing the challenges posed by COVID-19 and long COVID. Thank you for joining us to learn about this important research. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Stay tuned for more updates on the latest in COVID-19 treatments and research. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on our latest videos. Thank you for watching.